but you've got a lot of hot spots in the world. You've yes. been very outspoken on the issue of Ukraine. Yep. Hundreds of billions of dollars in Joe Biden. And then I would argue that Joe Biden surrendered in the war on terrorism with Hamas by not supporting Israel further and their offensive moves after the worst terror attack in their history. Let's get your overall view. Let's look at these hot spots. Ukraine, Iran, uh, the war in the Middle East. Yeah, so first of all, Sean, I served in the United States Marine Corps for four years. One of the things I'm proudest of, the, the most important part, I think, of the Trump doctrine and foreign policy is you don't commit America's troops unless you really have to, but when you do, you punch and you punch hard. I think that's the way that you respect America's brave men and women who are serving. Now, let me say something about... When you say that, does that, like, for example, how President Trump beat the caliphate? It was an overwhelming force, and it was done pretty fast. How President Trump beat the caliphate, beat ISIS, which people said literally couldn't be done, and he did it in a matter of months. But also Iran, Sean, a lot of people recognize that we need to do something with Iran, but not these weak little bombing runs. If you're going to punch the Iranians, you punch them hard, and that's what he did when he took out Soleimani. By the way, that action, people said that it would lead to broader war. It actually brought peace. It actually checked the Iranians and slowed President Trump has promised to do is go in there, negotiate with the Russians and Ukrainians, and bring this thing to a rapid close so that America can focus on the real issue, which is China. That's the biggest threat to our country, and we're completely distracted from it.